Hello guys, welcome to another Scientific Monday video. Today we are going to continue with where we actually left off last time. The magical EM drive. The, today's source popular mechanics, we used it before and probably we will use it more times in the future. So I'd like to clarify something first. This article is from the 2nd of September 2016. Which makes it older than the article from the previous view video, but that doesn't make it less important this time. So, like we went on last time, the magical EM drive somehow works. Now, why is this arti article related to that? Well, Guido Feta, CEO of Kenya Inc., which is a producer of the a type of EM drive known as the Kenya drive, if I say it correctly. Kenya Drive, Kenya Drive, probably, I don't know. English is hard for me, yes. So, his creation is based on the original from Roger Shire, and they are both actually just closed systems without outlet filled with microwaves that somehow, uh, in a magical way, produce trust. So, the idea of, Gide, of Mr. Feta here is to just do it easily. Take a drive, put it on a rocket, send it into space. Simple enough, isn't it? So, a bit of background information. Shore's work is largely ignored, as, as you guys probably know. Although he did ship a copy of his engine to Bo Boeing. Um, a Chinese team, but that's the East. It took up the challenge in 2008. They published a series of theoretical and experimental papers in 2012 they claim to have produced a similar engine that gave roughly the same amount of thrust as conventional ion thrusters so there's hope already and currently at least at the time of writing this that this article has been written the NASA, NASA paper NASA damn it <laughs> The NASA paper was just in, still in progress and it was being peer reviewed and verified, which that was very doubtful back then, but it somehow made it through. So, the mission is get the engine into space. Let's see, uh, satellite bus very big deal for satellite business indeed, because if it works, the drive. We don't need iron thrusters anymore. I don't see a problem in that much better so Kenya announced on to launch its thruster on a 6U cube set satellite satellite each unit is roughly 10 cubic centimeters so that's the unit of a cube set that's not really small big uh, one quarter of that space will be taken up by the drive the drive also is not so big in that way it not so they are his intention is to satellite to stay in orbit for six months rather than six weeks which would be typical for the satellite of such a size at the altitude of 150 miles bloody hell they are <coughs> that's a pop-up from something all right they are using both imperial Imperial and metric units here. That's confusing me. So, the longer it stays in orbit, the better it is for the satellite. So, Kenya formed a company called Theus, the Theus, the Theus, with some industrial partners that are also willing to help with launching the satellite. No date has been set, but it seems to be 2017. And once it's demonstrated to orbit perfectly, you know, then it goes fast. Then it's able to take off really rapidly and we can have big ass space engines for it soon. And Mars will be only a rock pull away, so to say. There is competition, however, because the Sorry himself and the Chinese are also joining. And the... Uh, a lively open source community of EM drive enthusiasts has also sprung up. They are building their own drives and the online discussion is on nasaspaceflight.com. So many... What's that? Another pop-up? Bloody hell, guys. Really? Right now? But good. 
So the theories behind this wife are very, very, yes, there are a lot of them. It goes from uh, un and un con concept in propellant physics to quantumized fi quantum physics or even what was it again? Uh, uh, no other view on in the quantum world that we don't know of yet. Who knows what happens? It's possible. So the drive is cheap enough, at least, and but. Then again, the commercial launch for a flight currently is thirty thousand dollars. So they launched a Kickstarter for it. I will link that also down below if it's still online. At least I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it's still online. Go find me. It's still online. Incredible. Uh, how long do you have left? Is that known? No, that's not known. Anyway, it's on Go Find Me in case you want. Here's a picture of the drive, it's really small. So if you want to check it out, I will pay, place it down below. Uh, yes, that's it actually for today. Very simple video, not too much about it. I know I went into a lot of discussion in my previous video in the comments. Also to a, to a troll apparently, but I realized that too late sadly. So there is more hope for the EM drive. Who knows what it brings us in the future future if i find something i will let you guys know in the meantime i will probably launch some other talks about other scientific articles because i have some lined up right here it has been a good week recently well last few weeks have been quite nice to be honest but i only do one article at a week let me down know down below if you want to see this multiple times a week then i can scale it up to maybe two or three or whatever you guys want and uh Subscribe if you didn't do that, like this video, comment down below to let me know what you think of that idea and see you guys next time again, I hope, at least, I hope to see you guys next time again. Check out my other videos in the meantime and stuff like that, like always, what do they say?